Troubled timber giant Guns is to stop logging native forests, moving the business towards managed plantations. The move will go down well with environmentalists and looks well-timed with the Greens having more influence on government policy. But some in the industry are unhappy, claiming Guns has surrendered in the forestry wars. Here's Emily Stewart. Guns Limited has finally admitted it's lost the three-decade-long battle with environmental groups and the majority of Australians. Chief Executive Greg Lestrange says the forestry industry isn't popular and needs to modernise to survive. The conflict must end, for too many people have been financially and emotionally injured in the Australian forest wars. The company told an industry conference in Melbourne that the future is no longer in logging native forests and lies in the more sustainable plantation model. And for guns, the future includes the controversial $2.3 billion Bell Bay pulp mill in Tasmania. But instead of fighting, the timber giant now wants to work with environmental groups. With the company moving to a more environmentally friendly model, it's no longer concerned about the potential power of the Greens. The opportunity is there to work with the ENGOs to establish a sustainable framework that will move us from conflict to resolution and then promotion. Through this inclusive approach, we will find joint solutions to age-old conflicts and move to a real sustainable forest industry. In fact, most of the industry believes a bigger role in government will moderate the views of the Greens. It's welcome to the real world for the Greens, like all of us. We've got to realise that when a decision is made, You've got to balance it out, and that's what they're faced with. So hopefully, we, you know, rather than these off-the-wall policies that they have, we're going to see some real politics. Guns is confident about the future of the industry. Despite six managed investment schemes falling over in the past two years, including Wilmot Forest this week. It's a different product, different opportunity. So I'm pretty confident that, uh, that it, forestry is an attractive long-term. It's relatively low-yielding, low boring but uh, it provides within a, a, a broader investment profile an opportunity for people to uh, have that stable investment. But while Guns is feeling warm and fuzzy, the overwhelming feeling from the rest of the industry is abandonment. As the company outlined its future business plan, you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. It's public pressure, it's you know, this perception, you've got to get out of native forestry, you know, that's what they want. And look, they're a company, they've got to make business decisions what suits them, but you know, unfortunately the fallout damage from that is timber communities, is people. Yeah, and that's, that's never a good thing for anybody. It does cause enormous concern at the way in which they're going about this process, which will injure a lot of other smaller sawmillers and industry players, um, and guns don't appear to be having much regard for that. Perhaps for some, the war isn't quite over, with not everyone keen to move away from the industry's traditional stamping ground. You can't just keep giving ground. I think all the science is there. We've given ground over the years. You know, government's now committed to forestry. They've, you know, they're showing, showing strong signs, and we've got to hold that ground. We've got to manage what we've got and manage it properly. If we don't do that, then you know, we're all going to get it wrong and all be out of job. But with guns waving a white flag, it'll be up to the smaller players to continue the forest wars.